Next, Russia says it's ready to discuss a prisoner swap with the U.S. as Washington seeks the release of American basketball star Brittany Griner. On Thursday, a Moscow court sentenced the 31-year-old Olympian to nine years in a Russian prison colony over the possession of cannabis vape cartridges found in her luggage as she arrived to play for a Russian team during the offseason. U.S. President Joe Biden called the sentence unacceptable as American officials urge Russia to make a deal for her release. David Smith reports from Washington. Well, the White House said Joe Biden remains, uh, as it quoted, uh, laser focused on this issue of uh, bringing uh, Brittany Griner home. We know um, last week, um, very unusually, since the war in Ukraine started, there were direct talks between Antony Blinken, the Secretary of State, and his uh, opposite number, Sergei Lavrov, um, uh, about uh, some sort of uh, arrangement. And the, the general understanding is that uh, that would uh, bring home both uh, Reiner and uh, Paul Whelan, uh, an American businessman, also in detention, uh, in exchange for uh, Victor Boot, uh, a Russian uh, arms trafficker. But uh, it seems Russia so far has not uh, accepted uh, that deal and, and may be uh, pushing for more. Um, so expect probably negotiations to uh, continue. Um, today's sentencing, in that sense, was not a surprise. That was always expected as a bargaining chip uh, for Russia uh, going forward. But um, no one's in any doubts. Of course, it's it's uh, this is all taking place against a very difficult backdrop as the as the war in Ukraine uh, rages on, as uh, communication has broken down. So at the, the top level, uh, Russia. Uh, obviously accusing the U.S. of uh, interfering in that war, supplying Ukraine with uh, weapons and other assistance. Uh, it's poured in uh, billions of dollars to uh, assist uh, the Ukrainian government. So it's, uh, it's a very awkward situation for, for Brittany Griner and those who are trying to pursue uh, diplomatic channels in this.